Hey guys, Demented here. Uh, just now trying to use something on my phone. See if it works. Uh, I figured we'd get kind of a little bit of a vlog. And uh, just so you know, just because this app's up, I'm not sponsored or anything. Uh, I noticed it's lagging yeah. a little bit. Not the app, the uh, recording. But I thought I'd uh, share something with you guys. Something that I uh, use to make money. You see how much I've made. I mean, I don't really make money from it, but I mean, it helps me get video games and crap. Like, if I was to withdraw right now, I've got almost $30. Um, 73 85 in a lifetime savings. But, uh, I thought I'd share it with you because if we join together, we can get... It's easier for us all to get money. <laughs> and basically, all it takes is for you to just do your regular shopping. It doesn't cost anything whatsoever for you to do. You don't need to put in any, any personal information unless you... Because they will, uh... You can get your money back on a gift card or PayPal or whatever that's up to you I get uh, personally I send it over to my PayPal so I can uh, buy video games for it and I'll uh, place the whole link in the description um, again not sponsored whatsoever but if you guys join the team uh, basically just using this code I'll leave for you and uh, it helps me out and it helps you guys out because any every time one, you guys get $10 just for signing up now. Um, and how they get paid, just so you know, uh, they obviously will show you an ad or have you answer a quiz or something like that. Same way YouTube does. So it costs you nothing. There's no risk of getting screwed over or anything like that. Uh, like a lot of crap. Um, but it's Ibotta. I-B-O-T-T-A. And basically what you do, you go into your groceries or whatever, just like I'm doing now, and then say, like, I've already did the Tyson Street. I haven't bought them yet because I've not gone to Walmart. Personally, I don't like Walmart, but <laughs> if it were, I'll load up one that we might get here if they have anything because I've just went to the store and picked up a bunch. Um, here, like this. My wife likes hugging it. You see, you're able to get $4 back. That one actually just works without doing anything. But so, uh, most of the time, it'll do that. And sometimes it'll show you an ad or something like that. It's really that simple. And then once you buy it, you just... Uh, down here at the bottom, verify purchases. You scan your barcodes, which I can't because I've already bought my stuff. <laughs> and... Uh, that's literally it. You scan the barcodes, it'll say verified, and then it'll have you take a picture of the receipt. Or, for Walmart, it'll just have you uh, scan the QR code. That's it. And then, uh, it literally, it'll give you, generally within a few days, and you can get eBay and all that, it doesn't have to necessarily be groceries. But generally within a few days, you will, uh, get your money. <laughs> uh, again, this app is called iBotta. I... B O T T A. In fact, I'll write that down. <sighs> Ugh. There's ink on the end of that marker. Ugh. But uh, I don't know how well you could see that. But that's the code and all that. And this will be in the description as well. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> I know it works with Android. Holy crap, I need my water. <laughs> that was a mistake. Hang on, guys. I got a thing coming for my phone, by the way, so I don't have to hold it. It's just a mount. But, like, uh, I got this on there. The, again, not sponsored. But, uh... Basically, you generally have to buy, like, multiples or something. But, like, the Totino's pizzas or something like that, I get those all the time anyway. I don't go out my way just to buy stuff that I normally wouldn't get. Except this water was the only exception, because I wanted to try it anyway. But right now, it's only a dollar anyhow, so. <laughs> I don't know if it's the taste or if it's because that's got a little sponge on the end of it. And it felt weird <laughs> on my tongue. But anyway, that's pretty much it on the, um, that, but, uh, 
we'll get into something a little bit different. Current one, and I just got these. Uh, three of them. They're a dollar piece, but you get your uh, you get a dollar back from them. So I mean, it's basically like buy two get one free on that portion. Um, but the main por uh, reason for this video wasn't because of that or anything. I just thought I'd discuss it. Uh, it's basically to show you what's going on. And this is the office. I mean, you guys have seen the office, but it's changing a little bit. Those foam pieces are going to go up on the wall as soon as I find out a way to do it. Preferably without sticking nails through all of it. Because I don't want a bunch of holes in the wall. Um, you just see a couple of the decorations. You got Beetlejuice and all that. And I don't know how well you guys can see that. But can I blow myself up here? <laughs> I can. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm still new with this. Moby, Moby is in, or however the hell they say it. I think it's as big as it's going to let me go. Kind of bubbled my face. I mean, I mean, you see the vault poster and Beetlejuice and a character I had when I was 16, I think. <laughs> 18, I don't know. Not much has changed. The desk is filthy. My kid's bed's in here. Even though he doesn't sleep in here or nothing. But again, I'll show you those codes now that you can see a little bit better. It mirrors my shit. Okay, well, maybe it'll look better once it's rendered. Anyway, that says Ibotta USDVRMS. M S is the end. <laughs> but again, I'll stick that in the uh, description anyway. Um. But yeah, we got the N64 getting set up. I need to get a TV back here because the uh, PS4 will not hook up to this projector for whatever reason. I mean, one, that doesn't have a uh, HDMI, but I have a converter. And that still didn't work. I mean, I have my kid's TV back here, but that's way too small to be playing the PS4 on. Could you imagine that shit? Um, but yeah, I mean, it's coming together slowly. Like I said, those foam pieces will be on the wall, and I'll have some egg crate pieces put up. Not foam, just actual egg crates. And I know that does not work for soundproofing. It's more for reverb than anything. Um, trust me, I know people that are mm -hmm. into the music. Go away. Ignore that. <laughs> That's my ringtone. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm slowly getting the office set up for whenever I get the computer... Uh, Sometime next month. Probably the end of the month. More than likely. Because they gotta ship it to me. And I gotta wait until we get taxes before I can even order the stupid thing. So. That's how that goes. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. Still got that stupid sponge. Um, but we, pl I plan on playing a lot more games and crap once I have the computer. And even on days like yesterday when I couldn't, uh, upload anything because I just did not have time, I will actually be able to stockpile some recordings for you. Um, that way something comes up like that, I'll have something. Or if I just don't feel like recording the day or whatever. Because that happens. We're all people, we're all human here. Um, because I hate leaving you guys without a video. And if it comes down to it, honestly, in um, a year or two, when my kid's in kindergarten, I'll be working and I won't have as much time as I would like. I will still try to get at least one video out a day, not including the weekend. If the channel blows up, I'll probably do weekends too. But uh, <laughs> as of right now, uh, the weekends are just for me. <laughs> I'm spending time with my family. Honestly, that's probably not going to change even if the channel would blow up. But, anyway, I just figured I'd let you guys know the whole extent of everything. Like I said, I know the office is a little mess. It's not, like, bad. The desk is the worst. And yes, that's pink. I got it that way. It was free. I don't care. <laughs> um, but the computer I'm looking at, it's just 
USB tower, no monitor or anything. But I can get a monitor easily. They're not that hard to get a hold of. Um, I'm trying to talk my wife into just getting a new TV for the front room. Because she's wanting a bigger TV anyway. With taxes, if we have the money. And then I'll just put that 50-inch uh, back here. Or 55-inch or whatever the hell it is. Throw the staples away so my kid don't get a hold of them. But uh, we'll be doing a lot more. Um... Like, I'll, I'll do some... I, I have a whole setup planned in here. Uh, eventually, if we're still here anyway, by then. If the channel picks up, I want to uh, put some actual foam egg crate up. I'm wanting to string some blue Christmas lights across the ceiling. Whole room pretty much blacked out. It, I, in my head, it looks cool. <laughs> um... Like the dark blue Christmas lights, and that's just for not just for lighting, but just because I think it would look cool, kind of <laughs> cave like, I guess. Um, if you didn't see, there's a drone up on the deer there. Uh, where's my controller up there? Okay, uh, I need to charge it, and come spring or whenever it warms up, at least, I'll uh, go out and do. It's made in flight, and hopefully I don't screw it up, because <laughs> I've been testing it in the house, and I'm not doing so hot with it. <laughs> I've been trying to get it adjusted, because it wants to fly every which direction on its own. Um, basically, once we get everything set up, I will get to a strict schedule I will stick to. Like, videos will be uploaded by a certain time, unless an emergency happens. Um... Which I'll still try to get something up around that time. Or at least let you know through something like this. Um, brain went blank. <laughs> um, but yeah. We're, we lost one sub. Which, okay, that happens. So we're back down to 58. Um, just keep you guys updated with the subscriber count. And honestly, once we hit... Um, 100, which hopefully that'll happen here soon. <laughs> I doubt it, but it could. Uh, I will do a giveaway for sure. Whether I have the money or not, I will come up with something to give away. Whether it be a game or a gift card, and more than likely it'll be a gift card via, like I said before, via um, $20 for Walmart, for PlayStation, for Xbox, or for Steam. And We'll be doing that. I'll get, um, eventually I want to get some games set up so I can start playing with some of my subscribers and friends again on the computer. I plan on getting, um, Cards Against Humanity. I know that's a very popular game. <laughs> and, and I'm not going to censor it. So, uh, that, that'll, I'll put a warning at the beginning. <laughs> warning very vulgar or whatever. I don't know. But, uh, we got the, anyway, there's several things I plan on doing. Um, and honestly, with some of them, I may, uh, I may end up setting up my screen there so it's always have something on. Oh, yep. Since the there, I wouldn't do any good. Because, I mean, you still have stuff in the background here, so it's not just plain Jane or anything like that. Um. And if I put the TV back here, oh god, where would I put that? I have no freaking clue. <laughs> um, does that TV, well, it might fit on the computer desk. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be sitting way too close, though. I don't know. I'd figure something out. <clears throat> uh Honestly, I just need to get like a 30 inch or a 20 inch or something like that. Some, something not too big to stick back here. I need to get my old TV back, really. Which my grandma has. Um, <laughs> but uh, she's got it just because she needed a TV. She was stuck with the old ones. Um, I don't know where I would put that, honestly. If quite a good question. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm sitting here just 
pondered. <laughs> I'll have to uh, probably move around my office a bit and then just put the TV where the computer desk is. And scoot the computer desk over to where my kid's bed is or something. His bed doesn't need to stay in here, so it can go back into his room once we get it cleaned up. His room is a disaster, and I'm not going to show it just because somebody will complain. <laughs> but anybody who has kids knows how they are. They are messy. Very messy. You can't really see that very well, but the skull... It was supposed to be a soap bottle, but uh, the pump didn't work. But anyway, I will just show off a little bit, and I'll show off the office once it's completely done um, again, because this is definitely far from where I want it. But, uh, well, maybe not when it's completely done, because when it's completely done, it'll probably be a year or two down the road when I have money, and I probably won't even have money then, knowing my luck. But anyway, like all this stuff. It'll just be over here. I don't know. This stuff will probably stay here except for the uh, BB gun. It's just a BB gun, so don't freak out. <laughs> like I told some of you guys before, I do have a felony. <laughs> hide anything. I'm a very honest person. So. <laughs> um, my diploma and all that. The Coleman lantern will probably be hung up. I might find another spot for that, but I don't know. One of my Taekwondo trophies. I don't know. I'm, I, I'll move some of this stuff. but like This shelf's pretty much done. Uh, the staples don't need to be in there, and my knife doesn't need to be in that, but Actually, will it? What will that look like? No. <laughs> Definitely a no. Oh, that's my Elvis knife. Okay. <clears throat> oh, whatever. Go back in there. Uh, get the Mewtwo. Oops. I'm going to have to put that back together now. <laughs> uh, the fountain, I don't know. cabinet over there I can probably put them in it does not lock so can't put anything important in there. <laughs> well it does lock I just don't have the key for it one of the neighbors was throwing it out when they were moving nothing wrong with it so I needed space for scrap uh, really I mean same pictures that have been on the wall forever <laughs> If you guys haven't noticed, the screen has been moved. It was over here. <laughs> I'm looking into the phone, so over here. Uh, and I've scooted it over because of where the projector was. The projector was right about where my chair is sitting. Uh, so now it's further back. I'll, I'll turn it on for you if you guys want. If you guys want. <laughs> like it, like uh, you're going to tell me, Hey, I want you to turn that, I want you to turn that on. Let's see if we can get the Nintendo 64 to pop on. It turns on, but for some reason it has a compatibility issue with the projector, and I don't know what it is. Um, so it, it'll work, but you got to play with the stupid thing as soon as the projector warms up. R2 is not staying there because he'll be blocking the. He'll create a shadow on the screen. You'll see that here in a little bit. I'm creating a shadow on the screen at the moment. Then again, R2 might stay there, and I just move that pillow. Here, let's try to see this here. Move you or two. You can go there, maybe. I would have to have you there. Well, that's not really blocking anything important, so he might stay there. Uh, I'll just have to find a place for this pillow. I'll stick it on the beanbag for now. Okay, the screen's coming up. Let's see. Let me see how fat ass down. Maybe it's this game too. I don't know. When are we hooked up? Okay. Well, come on. 
It's seriously a compatibility issue thing. There it goes. Right on you. I don't think it loaded all the way. Because I didn't hear it. Give that a minute. You'll hear it make a noise. There it goes. And yes, it's Pokemon. How oh, about I don't stand in front of it like a doofus? screen really for uh this so i may eventually hook the nintendo 64 if i can get it all to work with the projector i'll keep it like that and honestly i don't have that light plugged in do i no i don't damn it uh we'll figure out something <laughs> Jesus, this game was from 2000. 2000 doesn't seem like that long ago. <laughs> but it's been 17 years. I'm making everybody feel old that's older than... <laughs> about as old my age, anyway. Yes, and it tells me there's no controller play. It's just sitting there. Um, but yeah, I've got like uh, Mario 64 and a few others coming. I have paid a total of, let's see, two, four, six, eight. I've paid tw a total of $12 for all the games I have or, and are coming. I've got uh, three coming this Saturday. Um, and for, for all the games, which is five of them, uh... The new, uh, the Nintendo, and the uh, Rumble Pack come with it for twelve dollars. They're gonna come with, and a steering wheel that come with it, which I really don't care for because it's oversensitive. But uh, that's pretty good <laughs> considering the uh, Nintendo alone is thirty dollars. Generally, I paid six dollars for it. My math is off. I paid six dollar, well six fifty. For the Nintendo, I paid two dollars each for the game, so that's twelve, and then thirteen, fourteen, fourteen dollars for all of that. Then fifteen if you include the steering wheel, so because I paid an extra dollar for it. Yeah, fifteen dollars, and then the controller was another fourteen dollars. So I've spent as much as most people spend on the system and one controller for all of it. <laughs> I got lucky on the pricing. Oh, hell, like I said, I might ho just hook up my computer and use that just to, as a background. I don't know. Uh, the, the sound gets a lot louder now, by the way. I just don't have it up very loud. Um, honestly, I think and I'm just going to use that for the, uh, basically like a theater. <laughs> my own personal theater back here. Uh, let's say 300 inch, I think is what they said. Screen... I don't know, I don't have a tape measure to measure. And for those that don't know, you measure from corner to corner. But it's still fairly large. <laughs> if I could plug my cable in through that, I definitely would. Actually, I probably could with the right equipment, but I don't have it. Um, that would be just kick-ass. <laughs> I need to do some adjustments to the projector because it's sitting crooked. Um... I know, I'm just jibber-jabbering. I don't even know how long this is recording. Watch me not even be recording. No, well, this isn't recording, so. Um, but yeah, we're getting things set up slowly. Uh, I thought about getting an EverDrive, but I just cannot afford $200 right now. Um, that, an EverDrive, for those that don't know, you can uh, plug in... Uh, you put ROMs on on a little SD card and stick it into a cartridge that fits in the Nintendo. And yeah, so that's how that works. And then you can play pretty much whatever you want. I need to get more controllers for it. Uh, I want to get Mario Kart for sure. Get some nostalgia going. Even if I can't hook up my... Uh, 
recording software. It'll be shit, but I could sit there and have a camera as best as I can recording the crap. Not like that, exactly, but... <laughs> I hate doing that, but if that's my option. <laughs> Honestly, I'll probably just uh, run it through an emulator on the computer and do it that way if I record anything on here. Which I did do with uh, Mario Kart once. Or twice, I don't know. I don't know how many episodes I uploaded. I know I'm just jibber-jabbering now, but... Um, like I said, I want... If this channel ever gets big enough, I want to do giveaways all the time. I really do. Because, honestly, it makes me feel good. Um, I've done one giveaway, and the person never claimed their prize, so I ended up uh, giving it to somebody else. I gave them two months to claim their prize, and they just never did. I don't know if that's my system uh, system I issue. I think from now on, though, any um, giveaways, I'll have to do, like, like, obviously you'd have to like the video, and... Because that's how we get paid. Um, you like the video, share it, do whatever. Um, and then also you'd have to go over to the Facebook page that I created for this, which I don't even freaking use, so I'd have to get into using it. Um, and then that would be the easiest way for me to get a hold of somebody, because I can message you directly. I don't do Twitter. So <laughs> um, but that would be the easiest way for me to get a hold of you directly and all that crap. So that's probably going to be the future of the channel, um, if we ever get to that point. Honestly, I'd love to hit that. I'd be just fine hitting, getting that first play button, honestly. <laughs> it's not even, like I said, it's not really about money, but you need money to run the channel and improve it. That's what sucks. And I know I'm just going off on a tangent and talking forever. Um, but, I mean, if we ever get big enough, I'd like to do weekly giveaways, honestly. It's like, here, you get a $20, like, a $20 gift card once a week or something. I probably wouldn't do it weekly, because that would make it less special. Maybe once a month, but <laughs> still. That would just make it less special, but it might be more. It might be, like, a $100 card or something. It's just stuff like that. Why do I have a thing, like, I'm going to project? I'm sorry, you probably see all this. If you do, there's the Ibotta. Um, I was just trying to figure out why it's telling me to connect. It's probably that to neighbor's TV. Um, my phone's trying to connect to stuff. Oh, that'd be great. I need to... Uh, I thought about... If I can get my internet good enough, I can play the PlayStation 4 through this. No problem. It wouldn't actually be through this. It'd be through the um, remote play feature on the computer. And then just hook the computer up to this. But that is so laggy and shit basically right now. Um, I don't think it'll work. That's the problem. Um, oh, excuse me. I don't know. I might play around with it and see if I can't get it to work really well. Because I'd love to play the PlayStation 4 on the this screen. Really. And you can hear it echoes in here a lot right now. Oh, well, I don't know how well you guys can hear it. I can hear it. <laughs> um, that's part of the reason I need to put up some of this soundproofing stuff. It's not really to keep sound from coming in. It's to keep it from getting out. Uh, and the same thing with the reverb. So with like uh, egg foam cases and all that crap. <sighs> and then if, like I said, if the channel gets big enough, I would like to get a P.O. box. So people can, I mean, we could, I could... It'd be easier for fans to send stuff, because I know fans love to send stuff to people. Uh, personally, fine. I I don't care one way or another. It, I'd be appreciative, but... <laughs> uh, right now, all I have is a little mailbox that's probably the size of... I don't know. Well, if any of you have ever seen apartment mailboxes, they're really small. They're maybe about this big. About the size of an envelope box, actually. Maybe a little, maybe a couple of sizes like that. Um, actually. Okay, actually, I do have something to compare it to, roughly. It's about that wide. 
and it's probably about just as long. This is the top to a uh, paper shredder. I need to clean it. For some reason, that's a little oily. I don't know why. That's probably why it doesn't work for shit. <clears throat> Which, I need to do that with these uh, Nintendo 64 as well. Maybe that'll make it work better. Let me turn the light back on so you can see me better. Uh, you see the PlayStation 3 back here. PlayStation 3 will hook up to it, no problem. Because it's got the other hookups. This projector does not like HDMI. Um, I got an adapter for it. So my computer will work with it, no problem. Because my computer doesn't have the uh, uh, VGA cable hookup. In fact, the adapter's right here. My computer only has the HDMI hookup. And I think the problem is that this HDMI is only out and not in. And that's why I can't uh, hook the... Oh, no, that doesn't make sense. I should still be able to hook the PS4 up to it. Maybe it's just my knowledge of it. I don't know. Maybe I'll play around with it and try to get it to work. Because if I can get that to work, like I said, I would love to play back here all the time. And the screen's really not that bad. You guys wouldn't have to see all that. You would just see me. Um, the problem would just be finding a good spot for the camera. <laughs> and I wouldn't be sitting in my office chair. I'd be sitting in the beanbag chair because it's more comfortable. Office chairs for computer recording. <laughs> or just like right now. I'm only back here just to kind of show off the office a little bit. I'm not even back here for anything in particular. And hell, I don't even know how long I've been recording now. <laughs> Uh, on it, but, uh, really, like I said, with the, before, not in this video, but before, uh, YouTube's more of an outlet for me, uh, just to, I don't know, uh, it lets you get your, it's an outlet for, like, your, uh, attitude. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm horrible with words. Um. So basically, if you're feeling anxiety, stressed, or whatever, it's actually good, and that's why I need to start doing more vlogs, because I can sit here and talk about whatever I need to. Um, I really don't like bitching to you guys, not not at you, to you, but, uh, one, nobody's making you watch the videos. <laughs> uh, I'll probably put a warning at the beginning of those videos from now on, hey, long tangent, or whatever. This is just more of a discussion for me, and if you guys ever have any questions or anything, just simply ask. I I have nothing that I hide. Zero. Uh, I'm a very open person, so... Uh, if, if you guys, uh, like I said, have any questions or anything like that, simply ask. I will not hide anything from you. Um whatsoever oh that's my coins okay I was trying to figure out what was making noise in there we got a lot and actually one that'll be a hundred years old next year 1918 to the little coins. They're worthless here. nobody will even buy them <laughs> they were okay that's not true I mean you could sell them on the internet for about ten dollars but they're not to me, it's worth more sentimental. And it's an Italian uh, 20 cent piece, I think. Yeah, it says 20 cent. Italian 1918. Letter is R. I'm sorry, I had to look super close to it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, if uh, anybody knows... I mean, if somebody knows how to get that, somebody that would pay a decent amount of money for one of these, great. But <laughs> like I said, hundred years old next year, nineteen eighteen. So World War One or two? I don't know, something like that. Around that time period. Maybe it was in between wars. The hell, if I remember, <laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, we'll get everything set up slowly. Um, 
Uh, and honestly, if uh, people start sending me stuff, I guess I could just put my address, and then if you guys want to send stuff, you can. And I'll start putting it up on the wall. On the walls. I don't like too much clutter, so don't be sad if not everything makes it up. <laughs> honestly, my wall is pretty cluttered to me right now, and there's only like five things up there. Now, the stuff on the antlers aren't going to stay there. <laughs> That's just where I put it for now. Until I can find a better place for it. But, uh, like the character can go. I want to keep Beetlejuice up there. But I may just open him, both of those, and put them up on the shelf up here. I don't know. I'm kind of afraid to open them uh, because of my kid. They're not, they're not worth much. They're worth like $10 a piece. <laughs> so, I mean... And they're from the 80s, I think. Eighty-nine on Shish Kebab Beetle. I'm guessing it's probably the same year. Eighty-nine, yeah. And I don't know how well you can see that, but that's all the reiterations of them or I got these off of a yard sale site for fairly cheap. I think I spent $5 a piece on them. Something like that. But, yeah. Anyway, like I said, I need to clean these off. But I'm going to find a way to mount them. And the sticky tech will not hold them. They're too heavy for that. My last resort's going to be to... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do them that way, but... Like that. There we go. My last resort's going to be to just stick a nail right in the middle. But I really don't want to have to do that. Damn, that thing is scratching up that whole lake now. It's probably just dirt, but I don't know if that'll even show up. But <laughs> these have been outside, so. <laughs> <laughs> They're not very clean. I think that's what I'll do. I'll just you know right between right in the middle of them and then bend so I can over the uh, direction of the two. I tried to just face one of them up there and see if it would make But that's the plan. I just let that thing go and just <laughs> Um That's the plan anyway, so Anyway, I'll leave you guys alone. I've been talking forever. Let's shut this off. <laughs> that, like I said, that'll probably be more for uh, a theater experience. Or if I'm playing on the PlayStation or something and then try to have that in the background somehow. Like I said, if I do a certain way, like move the desk over to that corner where his bed is. I would probably put the TV in front of the closet doors, but far enough away that I could open them. And then I could just have that in the background. But I don't think that, I think that would give me too little room. There's just not enough room in this little office. <laughs> um, granted, I could put the TV over here, but I have no... Uh, I guess I could put it on that little... Anyway, I'll leave you guys alone, so leave a like if you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next video, and uh, join me on the Abada, please. <laughs> like I said, for every one of you that join, it, that uh, just do your first renewal, and it gets me $5. That's the only reason I'm doing this. And it's not because, like I said, I'm not sponsored in any way, shape, or form, but it's their thing. And then um, all new people, when you do your first one you get an extra ten dollars so you get ten dollars for free and twenty is the lowest number that i know of before they'll let you take the money out which understandable they're not because it, it probably costs them money to transfer stuff i don't know uh even if it's a little bit but anyway leave a like if you guys enjoyed i bought this down in the uh description and i'll see you in the next